Hey guys, it's Arn, and I finally get to make a video that I've wanted to make for a long time. Mostly because it's going to save you a lot of time and maybe even money creating custom profile buttons for your Twitch channel without needing to know Photoshop or any other design program. It's super easy to do and you're going to be done in no time. So let's do it. All right, so what you're looking for is this site uh, on nerdordie.com where you find customizable Twitch panels. I'll put the link in the description below so that you can just click and uh, get going here. It is so freaking easy, you guys. So let's say I want to make a panel for my uh, Twitter account. Okay, so what am I gonna do? If you click open icon picker here, you probably will find the Twitter bird. There it is, bloop, click that. And for text, you can say my Twitter. And you get this nice little preview on the right hand side so you can see what things are gonna look like as you go. Pick a font. They got a lot of good ones to choose from in here, including some Google fonts. All right, obviously if it's too big, you can change the size, font size here, and you got a nice little slider. And it's pretty precise, so you can get it kind of exactly where you want it. But keep in mind, like, some of these are gonna be longer than others, so you wanna, like, leave room for something. Like, you know, my Instagram is gonna be longer than my Twitter, so, you know, maybe make some space, you know? You can also change the scale of the icon that's inside that little box on the side. Get it to where you like it. You can also adjust the font weight to give it a little bit more strength, right? Make it kind of bold, or you can bring it back and make it kind of thin. If you click on effects, you can uh, add or remove that little shadow to the icon. You can even change the angle, right? So it's almost like saying, you know, where's that light source coming from for that shadow? That's a cool trick. If you go into colors, you can change your text color. You can also change the color of the, uh, the background for the icon, so let's say I'll go over to blue and I'll poke around in there and find a color that I like. Now if you have an actual color scheme and you know the uh, hexadecimal codes or you know the RGBA, you can paste those in there and get the exact color that you want. You can change the background color of the text portion to whatever you want. Change the color of the actual icon itself. Hot pink, why would anyone do that? But there we go, we did it. And then what's also really neat is that you can kind of see up here, Twitch dark and Twitch light, so that you can see what it looks like based on whether they're you know, in your channel using dark mode or not. Uh, of course, there's a mixer one, rest in peace. Too soon, too soon. And then you can click save the panel image to save it directly to your computer. And then when you're done, what's nice is that you just go back and you change it to whatever's next. My Instagram. Aha, see, I told you, I warned you. Font size. And then go back into that icon picker, find the one for Instagram. There it is. And look at that, you have you just had to kind of like create the theme only one time and then you can just make very simple variations by just changing the text, changing the icon, save it. And if you wanna see exactly where it is that I'm talking about that you wanna add these, I'll show you. Go to your Twitch channel, click on About on your channel page, and then click Edit Panels here. And that'll get you in there where you can add stuff. Click the uh, plus, add a text or image panel, and then click Add Image. That's where you're gonna target the image that you made. Click Done. And then here where it says Image Links To is where you're gonna put the URL of where it should go so that when people hover over the button, they can click it and it will take them where you want. And then you click submit. Once it's done, you can actually just go back up, uh, turn off edit panels, and there it is. Hey, that's it, thanks for watching. If this was actually useful to you, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, maybe even use the notifications, maybe even think about me when you're having a good dinner. I don't know, I'm just, thinking about you right now. <laughs> that made this, that was so stupid. Um, thank you for watching, is, that was what I meant to say. Consider uh, watching another one of my videos. I got all kinds of tips out here that you just, you click and, and you learn something and that's what I'm here for. And my printer is printing something.